Did you two go to the party on Saturday at Nine Springs? Ah. Uh, is it that one where the guy drowned? Yeah, did died? you hear about that? He took like there was loads of drugs and stuff and um he um done a bit too many I think, started being a bit of an idiot and fell in. They had to pump out his stomach, didn't they? Yeah, because like the ambulance come and um he taking in too much like like bad liquid from the lake and stuff and it proper like messed him up. But whilst I was like um like waiting for the ambulance to turn up, this guy tapped me on the shoulder and it, I think it was either Dan or Tom's mate, I think he said he was, can't really remember. Um he said if I wanted to do a couple drug deals for him, I think it was like three or four a month. And he said like a grand a drop, so it's pretty decent. I, don't, I said I'd get back to him after I speak to you, look, because I don't really know what to do. A bit stuck. Possessing or selling drugs is a crime. Imagine all the stuff you could buy with a grand. Yeah, but carrying a knife can get you up to four years in prison or even a £5,000 fine. You ain't going to be carrying a knife, and if you do, it's for protection, for your own safety. Having a criminal, criminal record can place restrictions on you for the rest of your life. It can affect whether you go to university, the jobs you get and where you can go for holiday. Fearless.org provides anonymous, non-judgmental advice for 11 to 24 year olds.